Have you ever wondered how the conflict between Israel and Hamas began? It dates back to the late 80s during a period of intense social and political unrest. The year was 1987 and the first Palestinian Intifada was underway, a widespread uprising against Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. As the dust of the uprising swirled, a new player emerged on the scene, the Palestinian Islamist group, Hamas. This group, born out of resistance and rebellion, was not just another political entity. From the very beginning, Hamas was fundamentally opposed to Israel's existence, a stance that would cast a long shadow over the years to come. Fast forward to 1993, the world watched as the first Oslo Accord was signed, a glimmer of hope for peace between Israel and the Palestinians. But Hamas stood on the sidelines, voicing their opposition, refusing to join the peace process. This refusal marked a clear divergence from other Palestinian factions and reinforced their adversarial relationship with Israel. From its inception, Hamas was fundamentally at odds with Israel, setting the stage for decades of conflict. As tensions escalated, the conflict took a violent turn. The turn of the millennium saw the beginning of the Second Intifada, a period of intensified Palestinian-Israeli violence. Sparked by Palestinian protests over a visit by Israeli opposition leader Ariel Sharon to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, this period was marked by heightened hostilities and loss of life. In the early years of the new millennium, Hamas took a more aggressive stance, orchestrating a series of suicide bombings in Israel. This was a dark period, with innocent lives lost and communities living in fear. Then, in 2005, a significant shift occurred. Israeli forces withdrew from Gaza, leaving it under the control of the Palestinian Authority. However, this new status quo was short-lived. The following year, Hamas captured Israeli conscript Gilad Shalit, prompting Israeli airstrikes and incursions. 2007 was a pivotal year. Hamas, in a brief civil war, took over Gaza. This takeover marked a new era of governance in the region, one that would further stoke the fires of conflict. Seven years later, in 2014, the kidnapping and killing of three Israeli teenagers by Hamas led to a seven-week war. This horrific event and the ensuing conflict further deepened the divides and heightened the animosity between the two sides. Each event further fueled the flame, leading to increased hostilities and bloodshed. In recent years, the conflict has reached new heights. Let's take a step back to 2018. This marked the beginning of Palestinian protests at Gaza's border with Israel. What started as demonstrations quickly escalated into clashes and fighting between Hamas and Israeli forces. The tension continued to mount, and by May 2021, it had culminated in a full-scale conflict. Both sides suffered numerous casualties and the damage to infrastructure was immense. The international community watched with bated breath as the violence raged on. In the midst of all this, a significant event occurs annually that adds fuel to the fire. Israeli nationalists embark on a flag march through Jerusalem's Old City to celebrate Israel's capture of the Old City in the 1967 Middle East War. This march, which passes through the Muslim quarter, is perceived as a provocation by Palestinians. Hamas, in response, has threatened renewed violence if the march enters Muslim neighborhoods. The march is also seen as a religious affront by Hamas. As the Old City is home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, the third holiest site in Islam. Tensions continue to rise in Jerusalem, with clashes between Palestinians and Israeli police in the Al-Aqsa compound and recent funerals turning into riots. The situation remains volatile, with each side standing firm in their positions. These recent developments have led to even more tension and violence, with no clear end in sight. So, where does this leave us? We've journeyed through the genesis of this conflict, the years of strife and struggle, and the recent escalations. What becomes clear is the cyclical nature of this confrontation. The ceasefires, the temporary halts in violence, only to be followed by renewed hostilities. Each cycle brings devastating impacts on both sides, with countless lives lost and infrastructures destroyed. This conflict, deeply entrenched in history and politics, continues to echo in the present with tensions simmering beneath the surface. Despite international pressure to de-escalate the situation, the path to a lasting peace remains convoluted and fraught with challenges. Ceasefires have been agreed upon yet broken, revealing the fragility of these temporary respites. This is a complex and ongoing conflict with deep-rooted historical and political factors. Remember, understanding is the first step towards resolution. For more insightful content subscribe to the Daily Reveal channel and don't forget to like this video.